Hey everybody, got a couple new albums here I wanted to show everybody. I'm um, going to be highlighting a couple of California bands from the 60s. Um, the first one actually I wanted to show you that I added to my collection is the Electric Prunes. And um, they were a psychedelic garage band formed in about um, 1965 and signed to Reprise in 1966. This album here, I mean, it's their self-titled album and really good condition. I mean... Look how clean, clean that is. Sorry about the glare, but um, really awesome condition. I love the abstract art on here. And um, as I mentioned, this is their self-titled debut albums. And um, two of the top songs from this album were, uh, where is it, I can't see it. It's a little bit of glare. I had too much to dream last night and um also get me to the world on time right here on side two really groovy album and really clean copy here like i said let's see i'll take the album out so you can see it oh boy oh, it's in the sleeve again <laughs> i mean look at the wax on that it's just shiny really plays fantastic I understand um, when I was reading about the electric prunes that um, they, um, you know, they had such quick success that um, they were, I guess, rushed into the studio and the band was a little disappointed because the producers, um, you know, produced seven of the 12 tracks and the band wanted the freedom and selection of their own songs. And, um, you know, I... I that that's kind of a bummer but um you know it's really fun to learn about you know the backstory behind these bands um that's that's the most fun and like i said discovering new music and um i'm not sure if they're currently active but i know that one of the founding members the bassist mark tulin died in 2011 but um again give this one a check out you really like it if you like garage band psychedelic rock from the 60s you will not be disappointed. And again, this was released in uh, 1967, their self-titled album, The Electric Prunes. And um, next up, I'll show you the other band that I wanted to show you from California as well. And that would be the Quicksilver Messenger Service. Okay, here's that second album I was referring to, Quicksilver Messenger Service. They were formed in 1965, a psychedelic rock band in San Francisco, and um, got this awesome cover here with the red and the silver, and just look at the, um, um, if it's ink or what it is, it, but, you know, it's glistening, you know, it's awesome, it's reflective, it's really cool, and you can see I got the cover still on here, the uh, drink still on here, halfway on here, can't bring myself to pull it off, I don't know why, but um, probably just should, it's not doing any good. But it's got this tag on here still, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, these guys are really awesome as well. You know, defying the sounds of the 60s here. While they didn't receive much um, praise, I guess you could say, like Jefferson Airplane and The Grateful Dead, they're still awesome and defying the sounds of the 60s. These guys performed at the Monterey Pop Festival in 67, and they kept touring along the west coast to build up a solid following and um you know their first album here was released on capital it's their self-titled album some of the songs i like on here are pride of man and um and gold and silver really has trippy guitar work on it the last song on there and then you flip it over we got the side b side two side two we have um it's been too long and a 12 minute song, The Fool. Yeah, it's, it was fun to learn about that they had already produced, produced two songs for a soundtrack for the 1968 movie Revolution prior to the album release. And, um, you know, since the beginning, they had many, many members you know, come in and out, but um, I guess they were still active as of 2021. You know, both these albums are really awesome. You should give them a look. Give them a listen, I should say, and have a look. Um, 
they really help define the eras of the 60s and the music influences that we hear today about everything. So really awesome. Quick Silver Messenger Service, self-titled album in 1968. And the Electric Coons self-titled albums in 1967. This one's on reprise. Can't really see it, the glare, sorry about that. And the Quicksilver Messenger Service is on um, Capital. Yeah, I mean, I've just started to get into, you know, the psychedelic garage band era. And I picked up these two albums to help grow my collection and kind of, you know, kind of see what's out there. There's so much good music out there that, you know, undiscovered music or maybe music from the past that, you know, you haven't listened to in a long time and you kind of forget about it. And then you, you know, pick up an album and you're like, check this out. Look at this album. I mean, I would say they don't make stuff like this nowadays, but they don't. <laughs> well, I guess they do, but they don't. Um, I mean, think about it, you know, in, in the past, how... You know, they were pioneers, pioneers in the fields, you know, the music field and even the art field. But these albums are really awesome. So give them a listen. You won't be disappointed. And happy collecting. Enjoy.